Good morning, everybody. Thank God for another day among the land of the living. God is good. He's worthy to be praised. Amen. Just wanted to share a scripture this morning. Um, we serve an awesome, an awesome God, and we want to make sure that we are putting our trust in the Lord, not man. You know, we 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 know that if we keep our faith and trust in God, Amen then he's able to do all things. If you put your faith and trust in man, uh, man will fail you. Um, God will never fail you, but man will fail you. Amen. So when we look at Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, it's a wonderful verse, couple verses. I love these two verses. And it says it all. It says here in 3, 5, and 6, of Proverbs, trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. Amen. Let me say that again. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not unto your own understanding. In all thy ways, in all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. So, you know, the main thing is to keep our faith and trust in God for everything. Everything you do, uh, trust in God for your salvation, amen. We know that God sent his only begotten son into the world to die for our sins and that through his blood we have forgiveness of sins. So um, the plan of salvation is all about the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus. It's about what he did for us that we have the opportunity to be saved. So we trust in God for salvation. Uh, we trust in God for, you know, taking care of us down here on earth, you know, for our needs um, physically, you know, food, clothing, shelter. Uh, the Bible teaches us to be content with food and clothing and shelter, amen. Um, you know, and he will provide. Uh, he'll take, God takes care of his children. And so we want to make sure that everything we do, we do in faith. We do it trusting our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for everything. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, he's our protector. He's our provider. Um, any situation, you know, there's different situations that, um, you can only do so much, whether you're talking about salvation for your, um, you know, your family, your unsaved loved ones, your friends. Um, you know, we can we can be a light to them through our life. We can love them. We can pray for them. But ultimately, it's God that saves. Amen. So we pray for our unsaved loved ones. But in the end... It's God that's going to be the one that brings them in. And so we trust in God for that. We trust that God is going to save our family members, you know, our children and all of our unsaved loved ones. And, um, you know, we trust in him that he's going to provide for us the, the necessities. Uh, don't be, you know, it's okay to want or it's okay to, to desire to have different things. But um, we need to learn to be content uh, with you know, the necessities of life. And the necessities of life are food, clothing, and shelter. And, you know, that's that's the main, um, it, it's nice to have other things, but um, we don't need everything that we have. And we're, we're coming up on some tough times, amen. You know, they're talking about food shortages and uh, different famines going on and, um, you know, when you look around the world, you see everything going on and, and you know things are, and what the Bible says, uh, things are going to get uh, tougher as, as we get closer to the end. And I truly believe we are getting close to the end of this age. And I truly believe that Jesus is coming soon. Um, I believe there's some things that still have to take place. Um, but through it all, we have to make sure that we're keeping our trust in God um, for everything. And that's the bottom line. Anything you do, you do it in faith. I, I believe the scripture says, if you don't do it in faith, it's a sin. So whatever we do, 
we keep our faith in God, we trust in God, um, and, you know, it's time to really get anchored in Christ, um, you know, do all you can. The scripture told us to occupy till Jesus comes, and to occupy means to do the work of God. To do the work of God, one of my favorite scriptures in the Bible says this, this is the work of God, that you believe on him whom God has sent. So no matter what we do in life, we keep our faith and trust in God, and, you know, he'll take care of the rest. Um, whatever it is that you need, um, keep your faith in God and, and trust in him to, to do whatever needs to be done in your life, you know. And lean, lean not unto thine own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. So always acknowledge God. Uh, don't lean on yourself. Don't get in yourself, because self a lot of times can lead us the wrong way. Always ask the Lord, you know, let your will be done in my life. Not my will, but your will be done. Because sometimes our will is not God's will. And so he knows what's best for us. Um, and so we want to make sure that we're just leaning on him. We're trusting in him and asking him to let his will be done in our life. And, and trust in him that he's going to do what's best for you. So, you know, pray, ask the Lord to help you um, in every, er every area of your life. Strive to do everything in a way that's honorable to God, and that honors him. And... Um, you know, look, we serve an awesome God. We serve an amazing God. And what joy and what peace, what happiness we can have knowing that we know Jesus as our Lord and Savior. When you know you're on your way to heaven, it don't get no easier than that. And so we just trust in him for everything and and look to him and not to man. I tell, I tell my family this all the time. Um... God will never fail you, but man will fail you. So trust in God. Don't trust in man. Amen. So God is good. He's worthy to be praised. And, you know, time is getting short. Our Lord and Savior is going to come again. And the end of this age is winding down. But we know that in the end, um, we're going to gain the gift of eternal life, and we're going to live forever with God the Father and His Son, Jesus, and all the beautiful people of God who have put their faith and trust in Jesus. So, you know, God bless y'all. Have a wonderful day, and always remember um, to trust in God and to love God with all of your heart. Lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge Him and he shall direct thy path. So God bless you, and have a wonderful day. Amen. God bless.